Hey guys, this is Heathercourt here, and welcome to my newest video for you guys today. For today's video, we're going to be taking a little bit of a step back, and we're going to be talking about a little bit more of a calm down, a little bit more serious topic for you guys today. Now, the reason I want to do this is because I have, as of lately, have been reflecting on how I'm about to hit 10,000 subscribers, and it's definitely a very important thing to me. Now, I know that subscribers at the end of the day don't really matter. For one, they don't matter because they don't influence how much money you make on the site. That's the views and the ads and everything. And also at the end of the day, they're just views, they're just subs, they're just arbitrary numbers. And what really matters to me at the end of the day the most is the fact that you guys watch my content and it helps you guys get through whatever part of your life you have to get through. And that to me like means the absolute world. Like I love reading your guys' comments. I love reading those comments. They're like, hey, this helped me get through a part of my high school that was difficult. Like this helped me get through the fact that my parents are going through a divorce. I absolutely love that. And it just, it makes my day when I read stuff like that. And another thing that very much so hits me hard when it comes to the content that I produce, I also love seeing comments where I've seen people who either used to dislike furries or they used to never even have heard of what a furry was before. They just either didn't want to be a furry altogether and they tell me that hey your content made me like furries more your content made me want to join the furry fandom and make a fursona and start commissioning art and hell even get a fursuit and that to me like made me feel like wow i'm actually having a big influence on how a lot of people feel when it comes to the furry community and also influencing certain aspects of your guys's lives and that definitely makes me feel like a role model in a way and that makes me feel like i have a role, if that makes sense, it's in the name, but it makes me feel like I kind of have a purpose in a way. But at the same time, I have to kind of step back and realize, oh crap, that's a big responsibility. Another reason as to why I started to feel like I kind of have this whole role model thing going on, and it's a huge responsibility, is because I've started to notice that a decent amount of the time that I spend in my Discord server, I noticed that when I'm around, there are people who strictly go to that server and join the VC calls just so that they can talk to me. Now, that's not everybody. People don't always do that. There's people who become friends with other people in the server and they kind of like jump in there and talk to each other, be it I'm there or not. But there are a few certain people that once I join, they join. And once I leave, then they leave because they want to talk to me specifically. And don't get me wrong, it's definitely flattering. But at the same time, it makes me realize like, oh crap, I'm becoming very impressionable on these people and everything. And I thought, oh crap, I'm becoming a pretty impressionable person for what they do and their actions online, be it they want to just wait a long time on my Discord server until I come into the call and then they talk to me. Now, the reason that I made me think this is because I had someone in my Discord server point out, like they asked me like, hey, what are the demographics for your YouTube videos? And I was like, oh, well, my statistics show that um, I usually have 18 to 25 year olds watching my videos for the most part. And then the other age demographics and all show like lower percentages. Now, the person in the Discord server pointed out to me, um, you're going to understand that uh, that's usually a lot of teenagers that lie about their age on YouTube and make accounts at 18 so that way they can watch age restricted videos. And then I was like, holy crap, that makes so much sense. My brain has exploded. Everything I knew at this point was a lie. And then I started to think to myself, oh my God, I'm definitely becoming an impressionable person for like 13 to 18 year olds and everything. And during that time of your life, you're definitely very impressionable. You do a lot of crazy and stupid stuff. I'm still doing stupid stuff, so don't take that personal, please. So I realized to myself even more so that I have a big weight on my shoulders of a responsibility to make sure that I'm a good influence and role model for those certain people that look up to me a lot through my videos. Now, the one thing that I want to definitely make sure of, which I fear that could possibly happen, is that I could develop an ego. I want to let you guys know I've never been really an egotistical person before. And I'm not even saying that in like a way to like praise myself from ever being egotistical. Like I actually had the complete opposite of that. In my opinion, I also think that's really horrible because I was always a doormat. But I will say I'm grateful that I've been able to grow this community and channel, have a lot of people look up to me to where it's been able to make me have at least somewhat of a form of self-confidence in myself. But I want to make sure that I don't take that too far. And then I become egotistical and then I start thinking that everything I say is fact and you should like bow down before me and I'll be all like, I am your God now, bring me your virgins, things like that. That's really, really weird. I need to get myself checked. <laughs> So I definitely need to make sure that I keep myself very well self-disciplined. I need to make sure I don't slack off on certain things. I need to make sure that I keep the Discord server fair. And just because someone who is being a jerk to me 
or if they have a differentiating opinion that goes against my own morals and mindsets, I can't just ban them from the server or discredit what their belief is and censor them because that wouldn't be the right thing to do. And the only reason to either ban their comments or kick them out of the Discord server should be if they break the rules that are already been in set in stone. And don't get me wrong, there have been a few people already in the server over the past month or two that have been kicked out of the server because they broke the rules. And there are other people who have a completely different mindset, be it on like politics or religion, that I don't fully agree with. And I won't deny it sometimes gets me a little pissed off. But at the end of the day, I have to still keep them in the Discord server. I have to keep myself self-disciplined and make sure that I make it a fair playing ground for everybody. Because again, I'm just another person. I'm just somebody who's no different from the person watching this video right now. Like again, if you're watching this video, no. I'm just another person. So again, I have other people who tell me online and on messaging that they're scared to talk to me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm speaking to you on BC. Like, I'm so nervous. Or, oh my God, you responded to my DM. I'm so nervous to talk to you. Like, please don't do that. Like, I'm not that great of a guy or to where I'm like, God, like I'm a decent person, but I'm not like some person you have to like fear that I'm, that I'm not going to like you because I have flaws, you have flaws, and we're all just people that are just working towards being better people at the end of the day. Now, I know that I've already said this in a couple of my videos a bunch of times, but again, I have to remind you guys that if you disagree with something that I claim in my videos, call me out in the comment section and tell me that you disagree or fact check me or call out something that you don't like about me in the comment section because I want to improve. I want to be a better person. I feel like I've been doing a really good job at that, but still at the same time, like always self improve. Don't slack off if that makes sense. Because again, I've seen with certain other furry YouTubers, like again, I'm not gonna say who, but they don't take the responsibility of being a role model and then they end up either doing something disastrous, being in their Discord server, or how they treated one of their fans or something like that, or there's like an issue with their Patreon and everything, and they just basically end up causing horrible things to their person that looked up to them they either have their person they looked up to them as a role model feel either disappointed or they get taken advantage of be it for like financial reasons or personal reasons and it's just it's horrible and i really don't ever want to be like someone like that so to just make sure of it one more time guys that when it comes to me discussing the topics in my videos and everything like that if you disagree with me and all that's completely fine and you can debate me in the comment section all you want because again i know that we're living in a very divisive time right now and we definitely have a decent chunk of people on both ends of beer be it either the religious or political spectrum but I would say that for the most part, everyone still gets along fine and no one for the most part takes it personal and we don't cause like huge drama fest or debate fights or anything like that. Because again, I try to enforce in my message in my videos that we're all just people at the end of the day. And the vast majority of the people that watch these videos, I believe you guys are good people. The last thing I really want to mention for this video is that the only real kind of opinionated thing that I would like to influence on you guys that I wouldn't really like it if you guys took it another way is how I would like for all of you guys who watch my videos and look up to me to both be yourself and also be a good person to other people and also make sure at the same time to have self-respect for yourself as well. Now I know that some people might disagree with that because there's be it some more pessimistic people out there who are like oh don't be nice to other people or oh um, only think about yourself because that's when you get the maximum awesome life and everything but to me in my own personal values like i'm not a religious person but i also still feel like it's important that we try to help each other out and yet at the same time we don't help each other out too much to where we still respect ourselves be it from a grand level or an individual level because that in my mind honest to god brings the most success for everyone also the last kind of thing i would like to influence on you guys is to be an optimistic realist and the reason that i say that is because i don't want people to blindly be an optimist like i definitely feel like i did with my older videos where i was always kind of like everything is just perfect and i always see the good in everything in everything of the furry fandom and everything in life and that's definitely not how it should be because be it in the furry fandom or things outside the furry fandom there are definitely some screwed up things be it in the furry fandom or in other parts of life that need to be changed but at the same time, I don't want us to be pessimistic like, oh, these things will never change or, oh, these things are always going to be bad. And like, what's the point of being hopeful about things getting better? Well, if you have that mindset, then it 100% for sure won't ever get better. So again, it's keep a realistic mindset, but at the same time, like hope for the best because even like a little bit of improvement, be it from yourself or from other people or from other things that influence your life, the small things do matter. And that at least keeps me going, get out of bed every day. 
And I would hope for you guys to also have that kind of mindset because it definitely does help, especially in the times that we're living in right now. So anyways, that pretty much wraps up this video that I have for you guys today about furry YouTubers and being a role model and all. And this is a very disorganized video where I just wanted to get my thoughts out for you guys. So again, a little bit more of another personal vlog video. How do you guys feel about my advice and how I felt about being a role model and everything and how I feel like it's a big responsibility? Do you guys either agree or disagree with me? Let me know down in the comment section down below. If you enjoy my content and want to further help out my channel, please consider joining to me on Patreon as well as my coffee. Make sure you smash that like button, turn that notification bell, and subscribe all together. Make sure you check out my main gaming channel known as Seether Chord Games and my no commentary gaming channel known as Seether Chills. All that will be linked down in the description down below. Again guys, just stay hopeful. Stay a good person and remember, I want the best for you guys and for everyone involved with this community on my channel. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. I've been Seether Cord and I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Okay, it doesn't. Thank you. Just got to focus on grabbing it. Not grab me. Grab me by the butt. That's epic. No, that sounded sexual. Okay, stop. Oh.